is whether you're in or out with the bullet. Effie knows this, right? So how will she be able to get out? It seems like she's dragging herself deeper in the game. At the same time, we understand that she wants to get out. So what's going to happen? I want you guys to stay tuned. We're going to talk about it. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mark Dark, and I'm back with another video. If you're new, if you love power, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like the video, and leave your theories, comments, everything down below. Now today, we're gonna be talking about Power Book 2 Ghost Season 4, and we're gonna be talking about Effie. This is the early predictions for Effie's character, and of course, we will be going over that description as well. I'm gonna give you guys the breakdown. Now you guys, make sure you check out my last video. I dropped the Power Book for Force, it is ending, but the Power Universe, it will continue to expand. Tommy's story is not over yet. Also check out the breakdown video that I did about Monet Tejada, and I also did the breakdown video about your boy Tariq, and we are just giving early predictions for their characters, just based off the description and based off what we saw in the first few episodes of this season. But let's talk about your girl Effie. We're gonna go over her description and then I'm gonna give you guys my early predictions for her character. Now it states that entering season four, Effie Morales is very aware that the game will only end in one way for her. So she doubles down on herself and her ultimate goal, a PhD in robotics from Stanford. And she needs to get to Stanford as soon as possible before she gets any deeper and finds it impossible to get out of the life. With the help of Professor Bennett, she applies to a co-term program that would allow her to finish up her undergraduate degree and begin her PhD studies at Stanford. But once Effie is officially accepted and the future she dreamt up is within reach, she questions whether or not she's ready to leave behind everything she knows for it. There's one thing we know for sure about Effie. However, she's a survivor. So those are the key elements of Effie's character for season four of Power Book 2 Ghost. So down below, I want you guys to give me your early predictions for her character based off that description and based off what we saw in the first two episodes. And at the end of the day, we know Effie, she wants out. It will be difficult for her to do this, but she understands the consequences of her actions if she is you know, able to escape, which ain't gonna be easy, you know what I'm saying? Now, we know Effie, she will have the opportunity to step away with this whole robotics program at Stanford and all that stuff. We saw, you know, bits and pieces of that. Well, in the last episode, she had the interview that she missed because she had to help Kane out with the whole deal with Noma. But we know Professor Bennett is going to get her another opportunity to be able to attend Stanford, right? Now, we know Effie, she has a Noma problem because as she stated in the last episode, you're either in or out with the bullet when you're doing business with Noma, right? Now, we understand that Effie, she is getting deeper in the game. Yes, the description states that she's going to try to, you know, get out before she gets in too deep. But in my opinion, I believe it's already too late. We saw what she did with the Russians. I mean, they pretty much told her they only want to speak to her only. They don't want to talk to nobody else. So what's going to happen if Effie's like, okay, I'm leaving. That's going to mess up business with Noma and she ain't having that at all. So we know Effie's going to have to think of, you know, something else in order to get out. I talked about Anya Coverton. That was the original game plan. But to be honest, this whole thing with Anya Coverton, I don't know if that game plan is going to work for real because Noma, she's already stated that it don't matter about what's going on with Tariq because we know they made a truce. She said she's still going to go at him because what he did was unforgivable. So what's going to happen if she finds out that Effie is trying to do something to her daughter? She ain't going to give a damn about anything Effie is talking about. She is always going to try to get her up out of here which means Effie, she's going to live a life looking over her shoulders, which I believe Effie does not want to do that. I mean, come on, ain't no way in the hell you're trying to be living a life, especially a legit life, always got to watch out for yourself. Like, that's not how you want to live. On top of that, we know Effie deep down inside, she still has feelings for Tariq. She's proved that. I mean, it kind of confused everybody that she made that move in the very first episode by texting Tariq, letting him know that Kane and others was there to look for him. And I'm glad that Tariq did not fall for anything that she was talking about because Effie, she's been a snake since day one. I already talked about this. Hell, I've been talking about Effie being the snake from the very beginning and Tariq should never trust her. He made a mistake by even messing around with her after she played him in the OG power. But regardless of all that, we know Effie, 
she will continue to play Kane. If Kane continues to do what he's been doing, Effie will use that as an advantage like she's done before. Now, we know Kane, he will find out about what Effie's all about as far as, you know, her helping out Tariq. We know this just based off the relationship's promo. And you can tell that Kane understands exactly what time it is and that Effie ain't up to any type of good at all. And he's basically not trusting her. But we're going to see how that all plays out. We also know that Effie, she will get jealous of Kane and Noma's relationship. She ain't going to like that. So expect her to apply more pressure on Kane. I mean, she may continue to try to hook up with him. Let him clap those cheeks in order to control him. But I'm hoping Kane realizes that Effie is only in it for herself. I mean, he's already stated this. Monet has already talked about this. Tariq understands this. Everybody knows she can't be trusted. And she's going to do whatever she got to do to protect herself at all costs. And she would definitely screw you over just like that. Now, we know she ended up helping out Monet in that last episode. When Monet fell out, when she was trying to mess up that deal with the Russians, Effie you know what I'm saying? She looked out for her. So Monet, she may let it slide or whatever the next time they have a conversation, which I cannot wait to see because we know Monet, she don't like Effie at all. But the question is, when it comes to Effie's character, will she be able to survive, especially if she does decide to get out of the game for real? I mean, based off that description, when it's all said and done, she will be thinking about everything. She's going to think about, man, should I really go or should I just stay in the game? I mean, Effie is one of those characters that may just disappear out of nowhere if she's smart. I mean, she be hacking and stuff. Effie, to be honest with you guys, she probably needs to just escape right now. Disappear before you get dropped off. I mean, she lucky everything kind of died down after that truce was called with Noma and Tariq. She lucky it died down for real, to be honest with you guys, because ain't no way in the hell I'm about to be in the same class with my ops. I'm not even going to class the next time. I'm going to tell you that right now. We got to handle that. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. Effie, she's, you know, a character that we always wanted to know more about. It's still a lot of mystery behind her character and some of the things that she's been doing. And I did see some people, you know, talk about why I believe they're not going to give us like a backstory or more information about her character. I believe we're not going to get, you know, too much is because we haven't got it yet. We've been waiting since the OG power. We've been wanting to know more about who Effie was really working for back in the OG power, more about her life, her family, but it's still like a mystery. We get bits and pieces, but not a lot at all. And once Effie became a regular on the show, I was thinking like, okay, we're finally going to get more of her character, her backstory, but no, it still did not happen. She just continued to, you know, be a snake and do what she's always been doing. You know what I'm saying? Make her moves and look out for herself. And of course, team up with the Tejadas, which I believe that could backfire. Luckily, Effie is not involved in any of the stuff that Drew and Diana did. So she has nothing to worry about when it comes to their drama. But she has other things to worry about as far as the game and getting out. Will she survive? I mean, the description does state that is one of the things that she's good at surviving. She's also good at starting over and doing what she has to do to make it. Now, it is the final season, so anything can happen. Any character can get dropped off. I did see some fans talk about that they want to see an Effie spinoff. I told you guys, y'all let me know what type of spinoff y'all want to see. I mean, it could be any of these characters. We just never know. But Effie, it's going to be tough, man. It's going to be, you know, real tough for her. But for some reason, I think it's still more story to tell. I, you know, still think it's something else about her that we don't know about. And maybe we get some type of twist this season. I mean, maybe Tariq is able to take her out. Some say Kane may take her out. I mean, there's a lot of different theories that's out there. But I think one of her biggest problems is, you know, being too deep in the game, messing around with Noma and those Russians. And at the same time, we know Tariq, he ain't going to forget anything that she's done. So I would not be surprised if he does make a move on her by the end of the season. Now, I want you guys to leave your theories, predictions, leave it all down below. Give me your early predictions for Effie's character. We will continue to talk about Effie as the season continues to air out. So we're going to see. Now, I want to thank you guys once again for all the love, all the support, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. But let me get up on out of here, man. It's your boy Mark Dark. I'm out. Peace.